Wish all the hashtags, likes and tweets would find a way to get lost Yeah, and when I pull up to the scene I wonder what the hell is the cost And yeah No open of silence because I'm really sad. Every time I record a vlog, I'm like, the roommates are gone or like they're leaving. <laughs> Oh, they always leave me. They get so sad whenever Ellie leaves. I hate it. And I get sad when Ellie leaves. And we're just two sad nuts. <laughs> it's okay, Hawks. Okay, so I have a packet of oat bit. Um, I just cooked it with a little bit of cream of rice. Um, blueberries, a whole egg, almond butter, and egg whites that I'll probably mix in here. And then my coffee. Um, and I was just like hanging out with the roomies before they left. They just left for a couple days to Scottsdale. People always ask what they travel for. They travel a lot for work. So um, they do like digital marketing stuff, more like businessy stuff, not like social media. You know what I mean? Um, so, anywho, I just have. A K cup with cashew milk and stevia. So, I made this. I have a decent amount of work to do. Um, and we'll see what else the day brings. But I just thought I'd vlog. The point of this is really going to be me kind of going over um, my show day and my plan going into my next show because I am doing another one um and just to update you guys on all of that but I thought rather than just doing a sit down video I'd like vlog a little bit because it's my thing you yeah. know obviously a little bit of a different situation <laughs> going on <laughs> I probably should do my hair but I just got back from Starbucks. I totally forgot to bring you not that it was anything exciting. It's just answering client check-ins, which I'm almost done with. And I always lose track of time when I'm doing that. But I have a client Zoom call, which is kind of like a client Skype conference call in like 45 minutes. So I'm whipping up lunch right now. And what I have here are just these butternut squash spirals. They are 12 carb and one protein. I realized I'm out of sweet potato, which is why I am making them. So hopefully they cook quickly because um, I need to get on this call soon. So I will show you guys lunch when it is ready. Okay, cool. Talk to you soon. But also real quick, I showed you guys the supplements I take in the morning and you saw I took this. Um, I don't think I explained it, but it's a wellness herbal resistance liquid so basically it's like an immune booster I don't know if you guys have heard of oil of oregano um, it's something that just like helps if you feel a cold coming on or something like that in the past couple days just because it's been like really gross out so my body's very affected by changing weather since it's always sunny in San Diego um, and I think also just having a crazy weekend last weekend and then jumping back into work and obviously peak weeks crazy and prep start on your body um, I just felt myself getting sick so what I always do is take oil of oregano or this stuff and I only felt like really sick for one day took a rest day it's what I always recommend when you feel something coming on just rest but I'm just still taking this so I don't get sick again because we're two weeks out now we don't have time for that wow this one looks especially like not appetizing but I have two servings of the butternut squash noodles um, a serving and a half of green beans four and a half ounces of 96 four gram beef and then some cashews on top. Okay. Not bad. Definitely like sweet potato more than butternut squash, but 
It's still really good. So, I'm gonna eat this, get on with work, see what I get into the rest of the day. I don't think it'll be anything too exciting. Um, I have shoulders and arms tonight. But yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when I catch up with you. So, the Bubba's and I are on a little walk. The call just ended. Ended up being like an hour and a half. But it was fun. We literally ended up just kind of like chatting about life stuff. It was a smaller crew this weekend. I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful weather because it's been rainy and gross the past few days. Also, excuse my ratchet. Just like my ratchet self, honestly, right now. <laughs> Check the mail. Check the yesterday, too. And I have two packages. Just weird because it's Sunday and I didn't think they delivered mail on Sunday. But I had two packages, one from You Fresh Naturals and one from Till You Collapse. The you Fresh Naturals is like a flavored um, protein nut butter company and I guess they make food too, which I didn't know, but they emailed me and asked me to send me um, these. They are fresh roux and it says chocolate protein frosting and vanilla cookies and they're like little I don't know like wafers and frosting and there's vanilla ones with pumpkin frosting and then chocolate with chocolate frosting I'm excited about the pumpkin and then they also sent me this which is pumpkin spice popcorn with 20 grams of protein. I love like caramel corn, so I'm really excited to try this post show. But, Till You Collapse, not sponsored by them, um, but the stuff I've gotten from them I do really, really like, so. Um, I do really like their shorts and sports bras. Not as big of a fan as their leggings, just because I just stick to Lulu, but I got these black, just plain shorts. I got them in this like bright color like coral too. Um, and then I got this matching sports bra, which I actually really like that they have the pads separate. This is what it looks like. And then I got the same sports bra. I didn't realize I did that. In black. I got this baby. I think I'm going to wear this today. I'll show you what it looks like on um, while I get ready to go to the gym because it's like five something right now. So <laughs> it's that time. This is the sports bra and I really like it. Thank God I don't have like big boobs. This, the split is so lit. But I, mean, I do really like this. Um, and then I just have on Lulu Aligns. Made it actually an effort to have something different than what I usually do. And I'm really hungry and I'm really excited for this because it is fall, aka time for pumpkin everything slash just an excuse to eat pumpkin everything. Um, so I'm going to make some pumpkin pancakes. It's nothing crazy different from my normal pancake recipe. Um, you can use the same thing and make waffles, but I'm going to make pancakes. So. I'll put the recipe in the description box and I'll just show you guys what I'm making right now. I'm so excited! of this Trader Joe's pancake mix. Um, I used to have a scoop of the Unicorn Nutrition cinnamon roll because I thought it kind of went with the fall theme. And then I used 35 grams of pumpkin puree, 
which a lot of times people use this, I think is like a volume hack, but if you use a lot of it, your pancakes aren't gonna flip. So the tip is used just like 35 to 50 grams, um, and then a whole egg. And some baking powder, and they're so nice and fluffy. Like these are my favorite pancakes. And then I just put um, like half a serving of this pumpkin cream cheese from Trader Joe's. We have like four things of it. We stocked up, it is my favorite. So I'm gonna spread that around on there. And then I have a couple grams of coconut oil, which honestly, if you've never tried putting it on like French toast or pancakes or something, it's like better than butter. I'm not kidding, it's so good. You guys are dead. And I'm just doing shoulders, which I feel like I've recorded a million times. So, I think what I'm gonna do is stop vlogging for tonight, charge you guys, and then in the morning, so I think I'm gonna put down the camera for the night, charge you guys, and then tomorrow, um, we'll kind of pick up and I'll talk you guys through more like prep stuff. Um, and we're rocking and rolling, I feel really good, and that's kind of where we'll leave it, but I wanna wait till I have like a fresh head space and I'm not like tired from the evening and I have a fully charged camera, and then I will catch up with you guys. Okay, this camera's literally dead so it might cut out, but I had to update you guys. I haven't like homemade pancakes in a long time, but they're so good. Anyone tells you the like protein pancake mix or like one carb waffle shit, like no. Unico protein mixed with real pancake mix is the best. And this pumpkin cream cheese. Okay. Just Lexi getting sentimental about food. But see y'all on the flip side. We are back. It is actually Wednesday. So it's like three days later. Um, and this is my second time recording this little prep update. Um, I actually recorded it Monday. And then right as I was finishing editing this video, I got judges feedback. I want to give you guys kind of what the judges said and what we're doing with that feedback, which what I kind of thought and inferred was correct. But regardless, it's good to have kind of the second opinion and the opinion that matters. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna kinda talk through show day and what happened since I didn't vlog. I kinda wanna explain why I didn't vlog, how the day went. Um, it was literally probably one of the craziest days of my life. Um, and then I'll kind of talk to you about the judges feedback and what I've been doing the past couple weeks and then I will resume with vlogging a lot more frequently, kind of leading up to this next show because now we're 10 days out. Um, I left you guys off one day out. Woke up the next morning, first thing, literally as my alarm went off, my phone had fallen on the floor. Um, I woke up super, super frazzled. I kind of like thought in my head that I, it was like really late or something. And I went to grab my phone and fell out of bed. And it's kind of gone now, but I had like a huge gash on my forehead. I hit my head on the corner of my bedside table and it was like gushing blood. And I didn't even really realize because I was so frazzled I went, but anyways, then I looked in the mirror, I literally had like blood all down my face. I was considering going to the hospital, honestly, because I was like, I don't know if I need stitches. I've never had stitches before, but I'm definitely gonna have a scar and I'm not happy about that. Up literally, the, it was a low weigh in for me, which is not what we were looking to do. Um, I think one day out, I was weighing like 114, which was pretty like, it was like the highest of my peak week weight. And then we were looking to just like tighten up a little bit. And I woke up at a new low. I lost like five pounds overnight. Um, and part of it I think was just loss of water from being super low carb. My body does drop weight like that when I do high fat, low carb. Um, and again, it's not like all body fat. A lot of it is just water. Um, but I think part of it too was that I had cut off water earlier the night before and just de-stressing. Like you guys saw how calm I was and all week I had been so anxious. So I think that was a piece of it too. But regardless, I woke up really, really small because as you guys know, I'm like pretty small and lean as is. Um, so all morning I was like stuffing my face with carbs, went and got my tan. So go get my tan, get my stuff together, head over to the venue. My makeup appointment was at 11. And usually with muscle contest shows, which is the show I did, 
Um, it's like all the shows in Southern California. Um, they start at 10. Bikini typically goes on like 1.32. So I was like, oh, this will be perfect. Have my tan. You guys know my hair canceled. Um, so I like rushed in my hair, went over to the venue. Literally as I get to the venue at 11, bikini's going on. And this is Masters, so it's like the older division. So it goes Masters and then Teen, which there's just one class. And then Novice, which I was doing. And then Open, which is just like the normal class that you can get like nationally qualified and stuff. It's the one that really matters. But I was doing Novice. So, as I'm sitting down to get my makeup done, I was like, dude, I don't even know what to do. I was like, a good thing, like, novice doesn't really matter. I was just doing it more to get my feet wet. But regardless, I had, like, no time. So I sit down. Um, the guy comes over and is like, yo, they're calling you on. Like, what do you want to do? I was like, I cannot go on stage without makeup on. Like, sorry. And this huge gash on my head, like, no. Regardless, it does not look good if the judges see your name crossed out on the roster and then like 20 minutes later you show up on stage like it, it does not look good right it either looks like you don't care or you're like don't have your shit together um now later i did get like refunded because it was a scheduling error they schedule bikini for makeup um and hair like later because they usually go on like last after men and all that kind of stuff. So like technically it wasn't like my fault. Now will I ever get my makeup done at 11 a.m.? No. So I literally finished makeup, ate a bunch of rice cakes, pumped up for like two seconds, like my shoulders, um, and then went on stage. And that being said, I like, I think I did okay. Um, my stage presentation, it wasn't like awful, but I was so frazzled. Like I 100% blacked out, which I think is normal. I was like shaking. I like didn't even know where I was supposed to like walk or anything. Like obviously figure it out. It was pretty freaking self-explanatory, but like I did not have time to even think. So I went on. I was like, I don't, like I felt pretty good next to the people I was standing next to and whatever, but I definitely was just like so over my head right and I like was like sprinting to get on stage I didn't have time to like do anything so I got second call outs like they just like kind of sat me in the middle of second call outs and like didn't move me or anything after I just sat there and I was kind of confused but I was also like I'm flat whatever like I didn't even really look at myself to be totally honest I was like 10 pictures of coach here we go um after that Nick my coach was like go get a burger chill, whatever. We didn't have that much time between shows. So I go get a burger, get my tan touched up, come back. Um, I was like, I want to go on for novice because like, you know, at that point I paid for it. <laughs> um, and it was like $175 a class. So I was like, I'm going on dude. Um, so I went on for novice and open again. It was like super rushed. Um, because they ended up having us go before the pros, which the pros go on at, like, a specific time. So, like, the pros go on at, like, noon and then, like, 5 p.m. or something. But the show was running so fast, so they had us all go on before. So, again, it was, like, super ahead of schedule. At least I had time to, like, get a little bit of a pump this time. I had, like, my bearings. I had time to get my makeup touched up, my tan touched up, whatever. So they have all the placing and stuff decided. But at least I got to, like, enjoy finals and stuff a bit. And really talk about it on Instagram stuff. Because I don't want to, like, I did not want to sound like I was coming up with an excuse. Like, being like, my physique is good, but I missed a class. So that's why I, like, didn't place well. Because at the end of the day, like, I didn't know, right? Like, I didn't place well. That's the end of that. I don't think it discredits any of the work that I did or how proud I was of slash am of what I brought it just wasn't really what I was expecting but I can say 100% I wasn't like mad at myself or the judges or the situation or anything at that point like what can you do you know what I mean like you you it does you no good to get like angry or discouraged or anything like that like it, immediately when I got off stage I was like okay on to the next one I just want to have a show day <laughs> um and I think also I want to feel like I'm bringing my best and that day I just did not bring my best so since then I've been reversing you guys saw in my last video um we did know that obviously I was super small and she wanted me to be fuller regardless of what the judges said um, so I didn't obviously track the night of my show. The next day I just kind of had like a YOLO day. Um, I wasn't like, I mean, I ate a ball. Like I went out and got like Mexican. I got breakfast. I 
ate out for lunch. I had like a bunch of like little snacks and stuff that I had gotten. But I stopped when I was full, right? Like for me, food is something that is meant to be enjoyed. So if I'm just eating to eat, I'm like, why? You know? So, so then after that, we started reverse dieting me. I think I started at 150 carb, 50 fat, um, 130 protein. The goal is to fill me out. So basically every like two to three days since then, we've been upping my carbs by like 50. Um, and my weight's kind of maintained around like 111. 112 was like the highest it got. But it's basically been like high 110s, low 111s. Um, today we just jumped me up to 300 carbs, 75 fat. So this is the first time my fast went up. Um, and I haven't done any cardio since my show. So honestly, the judges' feedback for me was kind of just like I was disappointed because I feel like if you get second call out especially if it was based on my physique and not me missing a class which i didn't know um i want a lot of like things that i need to improve right and basically all their feedback was positive besides like a couple things so for me that says two things one um i'm on the right track and my a lot of my placing probably did have to do with me missing a class they didn't say that but that is really the only reasoning behind it and two i really need to focus on the things that they said I need to improve. So, what they said, um, I have a great shape for a bikini. I have really good stage presence. My posing was great. Like, my glutes had really good. Um, the negatives that they said were I could have been a bit fuller um, and like come in looking like I had more size, um, which, like I said, so what we're doing um and they said especially my glutes could have been fuller which i totally agree they didn't even time to pump up my glutes so it makes sense um and i i just need to grow my glutes too like i am 100 percent like down off season season of booty gains um oh the other thing that they said was i could have had more separation in my abs which nick and i got that we we're like what like because abs one are largely genetic um but Bikini, like, a lot of times people get points off for having their abs come in, like, too tight. But, um, I do think that would happen is just because I was stuffing my face all day and not, like, pumping up. I did, when I got my stage photos back, um, look, like, bloated, if that makes sense, a bit bloated. So, but at that point, we just needed to get food in me. Next show, I definitely will not be having a burger and a ton of fries and sodium right before I go on stage but I think that that's what it was I mean also I do need to train abs more so off season 100% even now um I will be training abs one to two times a week which I definitely slacked on for a really long time so judges feedback need to be a bit fuller especially in my glutes and more separation in my abs I was very confused by it honestly but at least on the bright side I do know going into my next show what I can do differently. We are doing what we can with that. Um, and like I said right now, I am eating a lot of food. My weight has kind of been maintaining, but today is Wednesday, so I'm hitting these macros through like Sunday, and then we're going to kind of like taper things back, um, dial me in, tighten up a little bit, and then probably carve me up into show rather than pull back the last couple days. This time we are coming in Full. And one thing you have to remember too is bikini is not a sport of like who's the most shredded. It's a sport of proportions. Um, it's a sport of presentation. Um, and so I think a lot of people are like, oh, like the lower the weight, the better, the like leaner, the better, the more muscles and striations you see, the better. And like they say they don't want striations. So, um, I've been feeling really good. I would say mentally it's kind of weird being like two weeks out and like eating more than I have in like months and months and like not doing any cardio. But at the same time, you're not like in off season. So I still have to like eat foods that are very good with my digestion. I can't really like go out and be social. I'm still living that kind of like prep like robot life, but just with like more food. So it's kind of like a weird limbo period. I'm not going to lie. But it feels really, really good to, like, feel good and have a ton of energy. So I'm stoked about that. But anyways, this is, like, 18 minutes long. So I'm going to have a lot of editing to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. But thank you guys for sticking with me. Um, I'm really excited for next show. 10 days. 
Let's go. Let's get it. Comment, share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.